why are you here? I don't mean watching this video. I mean, why are you here on this earth? Do you know what your purpose is? Or do you get out of bed every day and say, oh my gosh, another day. What am I doing today? And it's almost like, you know, we could look around the world today and see people just kind of living until they die. It's just like another day until they die. But I want to challenge you today with a an idea that comes from the Bible and it comes from God himself, that your life is meant for a bigger purpose. It is meant for touching more people globally than it is just touching you. So I want to read a passage out of Genesis chapter one, verse 26 and through 31. And God said, let us make man in our own image and in our own likeness and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the earth, the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. It goes on to say, be fruitful, multiply and subdue the earth. And we can read that on a surface level and think, okay, God wants us to multiply, to have children, to make a bigger family, right? But I want us to think bigger. I, I want you to think bigger. Like when Abraham was first called, God gave him a call and it was not just about Abraham. So in, Ab in Genesis chapter 12, verses one and two, he told Abraham, I want you to leave your father's country where you're comfortable and familiar, go into an unknown place where I will show you. And he said that he would make him into a great nation. He did not say, I'll make your life good. I will bless you. I'll make you a great man. It wasn't just about Abraham himself. The covenant that God made with Abraham was, I will make you a great nation, plural, huge, global. And I don't know how many millions of people are included in a nation, but it's no small potatoes. And I, this is what I want to challenge you with today is to think more globally with your life. Because the Bible tells us that God has put eternity in the heart of every man and I believe that that it's like a hole it's like there's a hole inside of you and until you find the purpose of God for your life you'll never be truly full you'll never live a fulfilling life you know maybe you have everything money can buy all the money the fame the friends you, you've got the big mansion or whatever it is, but you're empty inside. Or maybe you are on the opposite of that and you think, well, I don't have anything. I don't have any money. I have no friends. I'm not married. I The list goes on and on. I have nothing, right? Either scenario or any variation has the same common denominator. And it is that eternity in the heart of every man. Imagine that hole that can only be filled by Jesus Christ and the mission of God. We cannot fulfill it on our own because when God created you, he did it so purposefully, just like with Abraham. You're not meant to just be off onto some little island by yourself. No, God wants to use your life just like Abraham to bless those and bless those and bless those and bless those. It's this reverberating effect that your life has when you're truly walking out your purpose. And this is what I want to challenge you with today is to think bigger like Abraham. Think more along the lines of a communal calling, 
not a singular calling. A singular calling might just be like, God, I need you to bless me with a tank of gas. I need you to help me to get, to have a baby or get married or start a business or whatever. But God's thinking about people being saved, millions, nations coming to know him. So if you were to imagine your life in a communal kind of strategic placement rather than a singular individualized way of living or thinking, what would that look like? How could your life touch people in a global way that would bring God so much glory? What could you do to make God's dream come true? You know, for me, I'm a pretty simple person. You could bring me a Lily's dark chocolate candy bar, a cheeseburger, <laughs> a chick flick, and I'd be so happy. But God's dream is so much bigger than ours. He thinks globally. He thinks missionally. He wants that none shall perish according to the Bible. And we are the ambassadors, the ones who the world sees as Jesus representatives on the earth. So how can we shift our focus off of just the temporal things like, God bless me, bless me, bless me, fill my tank with gas, pay my bills, help me. And, and, and kind of shift that over to, God, how can I bless you? How can I help you? How can I be a tool that is utilized for the kingdom of God in a global capacity? I want to challenge you with this so that you wake up tomorrow thinking differently and asking God, how can I help you today, Lord? What can I do that would bring your name glory? And start living in this intentional way. When you begin to live in an intentional way, you will see God threaded throughout the whole day, the, the whole week, the whole month. You will begin to see God show up. See, oftentimes we wonder like, where is God? And the reality is he's always there. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. However, if you're just living for yourself, you will not really see him moving. But here's the key. As soon as you figure out why you're here and you begin to move towards the things that make God's dreams come true, that is when you'll see him move. When you begin to minister to the poor or help the widows or lay hands on people and see them recover through healing or preach the gospel, minister to others, go to Africa on a mission trip or as a missionary or whatever, whatever God's dream is for the world, that is when you'll see the hand of God you will start to be like, whoa, God is really moving. He's really providing. He's really showing up. He's answering all these prayers because that's how he works. He wait, he's waiting for you to move into the thing you're called to do. I want to challenge you today to light that fire underneath you. Wake up tomorrow and live with purpose so that when someone asks you, why are you here? Your answer and the way that you live your life says this. I'm here to fulfill the purpose of God in this world. To bring his name glory. To spread the, the greatness of God through all the earth. You are here for a purpose. And it's time that you start living like it. Every day. Waking up knowing I'm here for a purpose, to make God's dreams come true. And maybe you are watching this video and you don't know God yet. You don't know Jesus. You haven't submitted to him yet. You can do that today. The 
the Bible says that if you believe that Jesus Christ is who he says he is, that his father rose him from the dead, you believe that in your heart and you confess Jesus as Lord and Savior with your mouth and in your heart, you will be saved. It's the believing part that gets people. But if you believe it, you will see the salvation of the Lord this day. If that's you, please put a comment down below or reach out to me. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can email me at info at randytafoyaministries.org. I'm happy to respond to you. And I want to say thank you to those who always watch these videos. Thank you guys. Share this video with someone who needs to be encouraged. Come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. See you next time.